In this video we're going to look at how you can adjust the BP sky sphere that comes in with any default map that you create in Unreal Engine 4. The BP sky sphere works in tandem with a directional light which in the default map is called the light source. When you first create a default map it comes in with a kind of midday look with lots of clouds in the sky but you can adjust both of those actors and create a sunset look you can also create a nighttime look with stars and the moon or you can go for something that looks maybe a little bit more alien. To change the BP Sky Sphere you change it in the Details panel. So with the BP Sky Sphere selected you go to the Details panel and the two sections you want to look at are this one called Default and this one called Override Settings. Under Directional Light Actor is where the light that is attached to this BP Sky Sphere in creating the sun effect is selected. If you make any changes to that light source you need to click on this grey square here which doesn't look like it but it is actually a button and that will refresh the sky sphere so that it reflects the changes that you've made to the light source. Here you can select whether or not the changes you make to the position of your sun will affect the colors of the sky so whether you're going to get a sunset effect or not. You can affect the brightness not of the actual light from the sun but of the disk that is representing the sun in the sky. You can speed up or slow down the movement of the clouds. You can adjust the visibility of the clouds using the opacity setting here. You can adjust the brightness of the stars which come in at a low setting because it's set at daytime. The sun height here is connected to the light source so you actually don't change that but when you do change the light source and you click the refresh material you'll see that number change there and the horizon fall off relates to the relationship between these two colors here the zenith color and the horizon color with all of these things you want to just play around with them one by one to see how they affect the sky lastly you have this, the cloud color and then the overall color that's kind of like an overall cast over the whole sky so to create the first effect that we're going to do which is the sunset effect the first thing you need to do is to select the light source in your viewport and go to your rotation tool every directional light has this strong arrow here which is showing you the actual direction that the light is in so we're at a kind of you know 11 a.m. midday light setting here but we want to adjust this with our rotation tool so that we're more at a sunset angle for our sun and once we've done that we want to go back to our BP sky sphere settings and click on that refresh material button and you should see that the sun height number here has changed and that's all you've got to do to get a sunset look. So let's now look at what you need to do to create a nighttime scene with a moon. The first setting that you need to change is this one next to colors determined by sun position. With that unchecked you can treat the sun as a moon and move it wherever you like in the sky without creating a sunset or a sunrise effect. It also means that the stars will turn on whether or not the sun is below the horizon line. Then I knocked back the sun disk brightness to 60. I increased the cloud speed to 3. I dropped the cloud opacity to 0.7 and I increased the star's brightness to 2. The next important settings are these colors here and I've set the horizon fall off to a high setting of 7 and made the zenith color an extremely dark midnight blue. Then the horizon color is a little bit paler blue and the cloud color a little bit paler again and then the overall cast over the whole thing is this blue color here. The next thing to adjust is the actual color of the light source. So select the light source and then go into its details panel and I've left the intensity of the light exactly the same as it was for the midday scene but I've adjusted the light color so it also has a blue cast to it and you can see that everything because we've used blue everywhere everything's got that kind of nighttime blue cast on it and the last thing that I changed inside the light source was that I upped the indirect lighting intensity to 
2 and that means that I've just got a little bit more brightness happening here on the indirectly lit sides of my shapes. There are a few extra things in my nighttime scene that are affecting the way that it renders. The first is that I've got a light mass importance volume. It tells Unreal Engine 4 which parts of the scene it needs to pay attention to rendering and it means you'll get faster build times. And you find that under the volumes tab um, here where it says light mass importance volume. Then I've got a couple of things from the visual section of the modes tab. I've got a sphere reflection capture actor and that just is capturing the reflection from my sky and reflecting it in my objects here. And lastly, and the one that I've changed particularly for this nighttime scene, is I've got a post process volume. So that's this one at the top of the visual tab. I've just dragged and dropped that in. Now the settings that I've changed there is right down the bottom in the section that says post process volume. I've checked the box that says unbound and that means that any changes I'm making to this post process volume are going to apply to my whole scene. You could resize this and then any changes that you make will only have effect when the camera is inside the space that's defined by the post process volume but because I've checked this unbound box it's going to apply to everything. Then the other two changes I've made is I've checked the box under lens flares next to intensity and set it to zero so I've turned off the lens flare so that my moon doesn't give me the kind of flares that you'd expect with the sun and under bloom I've checked the box next to intensity and I've just bumped the bloom down a bit to 0.5 instead of the default one that it was set at. Now that you understand what the different settings are inside the BP SkySphere details panel you can just play around with them. So for example here I've made my clouds green, I've used purple as the colors for the sky and the sky cast. I've also made the light source a purple color as well and bumped up its intensity and those settings created this kind of kooky alien sky effect that you can see here.